Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Lee Anderson from Reform UK. So 30p Lee is very upset. What about? Well, British democracy it seems. Reform UK won less than half a dozen seats but expect to be treated like the official opposition. Anderson here whinges about government appointees, about reform MPs not being selected for committees and of course some left-wing bias in the civil service. He then suggests that there isn't an opposition. There is, Lee. It just isn't you. The problem we have at the moment is there's no opposition in Parliament or oh. all this nonsense that's going off. We see the civil service being infiltrated by the left. Most of the councils in the country are now run by the Labour Party. Most of the police and crime commissioners in the country are Labour police and crime commissioners. We've got most of the mayors in the country um, are Labour Party members. Yeah, but they're and voted the on that, they're, yeah, vote, no, they're, they're voted for right. on that as well. So there's right. no opposition, right. Patrick. There's no opposition at all in this country at the moment. I, do, I, do, look, I get that, but you know, people will say, "Look, we vote for police." Although I don't know anyone who ever actually has voted for a police and crime commissioner. Yeah, true. yeah you, they are voted for the mayors, etc. But you know, civil service is supposedly well impartial. And if people thought there was a left wing bias in the civil service, which we were constantly told didn't exist, and now you look at some overt left wingers and Labour donors being planted into top jobs in the civil service, you do have to wonder: Well, what hope would any right winger ever have of performing a functional government? Well, well, they haven't, Patrick. I mean, this is Keir Starmer all over. You know, I mentioned this on your show before, where he, he won't let the Reform UK party have any members on the select committees. It's got a massive majority. You know, the media uh, are all over us. Uh, and the, uh, like I said, Patrick, at the beginning of this interview, there is no opposition in this country at the moment. You know, Sir Keir Stasi is becoming like an authoritarian leader in this country, and he, he's going to fill the civil service with his friends, it is cronyism, and it's a slippery slope. And I, you know, I really worry for the future of this country. Pat. My God, this guy is pathetic. Okay, so let's go through some of the things he mentioned here. No opposition. There is an opposition. It's the Tories and the Liberal Democrats and other smaller parties. Now, you can claim that there isn't an effective opposition. Yes, and I would agree with that. But you can't claim that there isn't an opposition. Now. When Boris Johnson won an 80-seat majority in 2019, Lee Anderson was part of that victory. But I never heard Lee Anderson complain about a lack of opposition. Then he mentioned the civil service being infiltrated by the left. Evidence, Lee, evidence. Do you actually have evidence for this? Because if you're talking about government appointees, then once again, I never heard you complain when Boris Johnson appointed people back in the day. Then Lee complains about councils being run by Labour and Labour police commissioners. But these were elected. Why do you have a problem with that, Lee Anderson? Next, we have the GB News holes doubling down on Lee Anderson's paranoia by claiming that left-wingers are being planted into top jobs in the civil service. But once again, I never heard these people complain when the Tories were doing it. That's what governments do. But also this attack on the civil service has not been impartial or been left-wing and right-wing governments not been able to get stuff done. Look, I mentioned this before, the civil service have to follow the rules, they have to follow the law, even if Suella Braveman and Priti Patel don't want to. Then Lee complained again about something that's already been explained to him on at least two occasions, why reform is not getting selected for committees. The reason is they don't have enough MPs and they don't bring something to the table. This is not like the European Scrutiny Committee where it's just a, a useless talking shop. Then Lee said that the media are all over us. Well, what did he mean by that? Because reform get disproportionate media coverage and yet end up with fewer than half a dozen seats. Anderson then compared Starmer to some communist dictator taking away people's freedom of expression. Well, take the British government to the European Court of Human Rights. But no, nobody's doing this, nobody's even talking about this, which is very strange. And finally he says it's cronyism, but ignores the fact that the Tories were doing something similar when they were in charge. Oh my goodness, so let me know in the comment section guys what you think, as always your comments are greatly appreciated, and I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.